Hey guys, welcome back. If you have a look over my right shoulder here, you can tell that we are still in the midst of winter here in central Ontario, Canada. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to take full advantage of today and get out here and, well, put some laps on my Woodland Mills HM130. As you guys can see over my right shoulder, with winter still, there's some perks. That right there is one of the perks. I get to drive that machine out here, which is a ton of fun. Now, what I'm going to do today is take you guys inside the sawmill shack or the hillbilly hideout version 2.0 as i like to call it and i'm going to show you guys exactly how long it takes to cut a log now many of you guys have asked me this in the past and i do my best to guesstimate but the truth of the matter is i never time it i don't i don't have a stopwatch here i'm not i'm not typically racing anything and so today i'm going to sort of find out once and for all is that 10 to 15 minute time that i typically tell people it takes to cut a log is that accurate or am i doing things a lot faster or a lot slower we're going to uh, we're going to find out today. So glad you guys are all along. Let's get those tarps up. Now, if you're brand new here, these tarps keep out the weather, at least on three sides of the building. So I'm going to get those tarps up Then we're going to get the mill fired up. And I've got a pile of logs here on my left. We'll start cutting into those guys. I'm glad you're all here. Let's get down to work. So guys, that's exactly what it looks like when you forget your cant hook way back at the shop and you don't want to go get it. I will get it. I just don't want to go back at this very second. This right here is the log, uh, what is this, balsam fir. This is nine inches in diameter at the small end and it's just over 12 feet long in total. I'm going to cut this with a blade. This is a Lennox blade. That typically is the only blades I use. Uh, that just happens to be the blades I started sawing with when I got the mill and well, I'm still sawing with them. So. Lennox blade, I have resharpened this blade, I think once or twice. It is not brand new, obviously, if I've sharpened it before. That's what we're dealing with. I'm gonna fire up the sawmill. I'm gonna get my little timer started and we'll see how long it takes to cut a 12 foot conifer. Anyways, let's go.
Let's go see what's going on here. Holy, you guys see that? There you go. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I uh, I knew the temperature was above zero today, so I knew there was a chance that that was going to let go, hence why I didn't put up the boardwalk. Uh, for those of you who are brand new, this boardwalk here, right there, that normally spans from the sawmill shack to the lumber shed here. I didn't put that up because this has broken before because of that snow, and I, I thought, well, the condi conditions were right for that to happen. And that little bump there at the log, well, geez, that, that let it go. Have a look there. Wow. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, wow. If you guys ever have ever seen a uh, full-size building, this is a small one, but a big building go with steel roof. It's quite the, quite the rocking, quite the shaking. That was something. Anyways, that, uh, yeah, wow, that kind of filled in part of my shed there. Not really the most ideal, but anyways, let's get back to sawing here. Yeah, boy, that got the heart going. Glad you guys saw that. Okay, back to her. So guys, I paused the timer for just a minute here because I noticed something after that second cut. And what I'm noticing is this. If you guys have a look down the log there, you see that chatter mark? Those chatter marks, those, those straight up and down lines, I'm not going to continue cutting like this. This is There's no need to do that, especially when I have other blades here. If you notice that, in my experience, it comes down to the blade. Uh, get it changed out and it'll be good as new. We're going to get that fixed up, then we'll be right back to work. Whoa! Oh, wow, that'll scare you. Gee, you know what happened there? The uh, front let go. I'm a little hesitant to walk out here. I think the front of the uh, front of the, the shelter let all the snow go. Let's slide on out here. Oh yeah, well, there we go. The Hillbilly Hideout version 2.0 now has a clean roof. It's funny, that snow sat up there. Well, it sat up there for half the winter. The previous snow load that was up there was for the first uh, half of the winter. When we, whenever we get these temperatures where it jumps up above zero and that doesn't happen too often, well, then the snow lets go on a steel roof. So I thought I had snow piled up on those logs before. Now I'm gonna have frozen ice chunks all over it. I think that's gonna be a job for the tractor. Anyways, let's uh, do one thing at a time. I'm gonna have a drink of coffee. I'm gonna change a blade. Then we'll restart the timer and get back to cutting.
Well guys, it seems like a storm front is coming in and that's good because we just finished, uh, well, we just finished cutting our log for now. What we ended up with after about 20 minutes of time was three two by sixes, 12 feet long, and that's actual dimension, two by six, and two one by four, 12 feet long. That's out of that single log you guys would have seen me at the start. Now, 20 minutes, that considers the fact that I also switched the blade and also uh, move the camera around quite a bit. So this is a true 20 minutes regardless of that extra time. In terms of uncovering the log, that actually took me 12 minutes. And so if I can figure out a solution so I don't have to constantly uncover the, uh, the logs in the winter time, I'm gonna cut a lot more wood. Also, if you guys can figure out a way to get the biggest logs possible to your mill, you're definitely gonna cut more, more lumber in a day. In my experience of smaller logs, well, you tend to handle stuff more often and you're getting more, uh, uh, less of a return rather. So get bigger logs if possible, you'll get more lumber. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna pack her in for today. I know the temperature is beautiful out and I'm hoping that's gonna take care of one of the jobs I've got coming down the pipe. And that is sort of digging all this stuff out. I'm getting sick of shoveling this and I'm sure you guys are getting sick of seeing me shovel this. So let's hope spring takes care of this. And well, if it doesn't, the tractor sure will. If you haven't done so already, make sure you guys subscribe. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And for everyone out there, you take care, be well, and I'll see you next time. Just before I go here, if you guys want to see more sawing, be sure to check out the playlist called Sawmill Setup because that shows this thing in action quite a bit. Also, I've got some videos out there of me sharpening and setting those blades. Be sure to check that out if you're interested as well. See you next time.